you've had weight loss surgery, you're feeling lost, you're feeling confused, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, Dr. Bob here's car wash confessional number three or four. I can't remember. Check it out. Who loves a good car wash? Yes, I can't believe it. Am I the only crazy one who loves a cool car wash? <laughs> I, I waited to start the video until after I was in the car wash because last time I really screwed it up. I hit my car and scra scratched my rims. <laughs> Isn't that silly? Okay, so this car wash confessional, I have to confess to you this. I've been a little lost lately. By that I mean I've been kind of been wandering aimlessly for most of the summer. And what I came to realize is that, hey, check that out, what I've come to realize is that I've been actively trying to seek something. I've been going to a lot of conferences, meeting with people, trying to make new relationships. And, and um, now why am I doing that? Uh, I thought it was just me being me, but I think honestly it was me seeking something, seeking inspiration, seeking motivation, seeking purpose. Now, I've been working with a brand strategist trying to hone down my message and stuff, so I know where I'm headed with my brand. It's just that I'm a little bit lost. And when I had my meeting with her this week, uh, I told her, I said, honestly, I haven't been shooting videos like I should be. I don't really know what I should be saying on videos. I feel like I'm a little lost. And she said, that's completely okay. You're loud. It's understandable. You're making a big transition uh, from one thing to the next. You know, leaving the surgical practice and becoming now like the uh, brand hero, every the every man's hero, every every person's hero. So, um, it's okay for me to be lost. And so I was thinking, you know, that's a lot like my patients. When you guys have massive weight loss, right? Like if you've had weight loss surgery and you go from 300 pounds to 150 pounds, for example, you're a completely different person. Like there's things that you used to think were true are no longer true. Your sense of reality is totally shifted. What you, not, not only eating wise, like what you thought you didn't like to eat. I used to never thought I'd like to eat healthy. Now I can't wait to have a salad. No, that's small shit. I mean like bigger stuff, like things you didn't think that you were, were able to do or accomplish or achieve. You can, you, you're challenged with that stuff all the time. Relationships, right? You thought your marriage was good, but then you realize like, dude, it hasn't been good. Like your husband hasn't been supportive or or, you know, it was more abusive than you wanted to realize. I hear all this stuff all the time. A lot of you guys are going through this bit where you're realizing that after you've had weight loss surgery, um, you know, that you buying, buying new clothes is expensive or eating healthy is expensive. Well, that's a money issue. That's a money problem, right? So you guys are starting to wake up to my message about how it's about it's a, um, that you have to have your finances right. And I'm, I'm in the process of trying to figure out what's the best way for me to explain that to y'all so that, that it, it doesn't offend you. It wakes you up a little bit, right? Like, like, girl, you need more money, you know? Like, it wakes you up a little bit. But at the same time, you're receptive to the message. Like, okay, I get it. He wants me to do this network marketing because, um, one, he mentors me. Two, he coaches me. Three, it makes me open up my network. Four, it teaches me um, how to sell things because I'm always, you know, like, life is all about sales. You're always selling stuff. Um, it makes you increase your network so you can get rid of your negative friends that you can, um, it, it forces you to become uncomfortable, right? It's all the stuff I try to teach y'all to do after weight loss surgery. And in, the, and in addition, you get to make a little bit of money on the side. So it's really, really kind of cool. But I get it. Some people um, are suspicious. The messaging, they're like, I don't get it, Dr. Vong. You used to be this really motivational surgeon. Now you're trying to sell this product. I'm like, dude, I, I'm doing it both for you and for me, right? Like, how else can you come see me in Vegas for free? I'm throwing in two free tickets for Vegas. How else can you get me as a mentor, right? We have to have something that binds us together so that I can mentor you. 
No, Dr. Vaughn, mentor me over, you know, my weight loss journey. I said, like, shit, we'll be there all day long. Like, well, we won't get very far because you guys are too resistant. The, the, the chains of your obesity are so strong that, oh, I'm all done. I got to keep, I got to go now. Let's drive around the neighborhood. You, the chains of your, oh, the chains of your obesity are so strong that it's so hard for me to break them. And if I try to, to mentor people uh, over their weight loss, well, first of all, people get all confused and they think I'm giving them medical advice. So they're going to, well, he's a surgeon, so he's going to, he's giving me, uh, giving me medical advice. And that gets both of us in trouble, you know. Uh, one, I quit practicing medicine and two it's very technical you there are studies and stuff it's not that simple to to sit there and mentor mentor somebody over their weight loss surgery i know it sounds like a nice idea but it's damn near impossible so what we do instead is we get around a common cause this common cause believe it or not is your money your finances like i'm trying to help you improve your finances so that you can have a better life now that you've lost all this weight you get it you know if you want to leave your abusive husband or or you know un unemotional or um dispassionate marriage that's going to take money it just is and i figured it t- it's going to take about ten thousand dollars it really is if you want to get separated um anyway i got off track but you understand what i'm saying i've been a little bit lost um trying to figure out my messaging for you guys i'm motivated as heck um i'm waking up early five o'clock every single day even though i don't have to i'm technically retired right and i can you know sleep in and all this stuff but it's not in keeping with my mission you know my passions things i want to get done I'm driving through this really cool neighborhood. I always do it during the uh, broadcast because I I want to um, I like to get inspired seeing these big houses and uh, you know what's possible. So I'll be showing you some of the cool houses here in a second. Turn down this road. Ooh, my arm is getting tired, and it's also kind of safe. So. This is a real cool neighborhood. You might not be able to see it as well because I got my dry cleaning in the back <laughs> Oh my car. All right, so I'll show it in your passenger window. All right, here, let me show you this way. There you go. All right, so some nice big houses. You got a dream, you know? Um, money is a funny issue to talk about because people get really upset, easily offended. They don't want to hear it. They... Um, Gosh, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Well, I, I think I know what the deal is. I mean, it makes you face like your shortcomings. Maybe you've let your family down. Maybe you're, you you um, haven't kept up all your your big mouth promises. I knew that was me. I remember I lost it all, you know, as a surgeon. Even as a surgeon, I lost it all. Check out this beautiful house. Like This is a nice southwest design right there. It's very beautiful. Okay. So um, I've been a little bit lost. And the message, though, is that it's okay to be lost. It's okay that you're lost. If you're feeling a little confused in your... almost bought that house, but needed way too much rehab. Um, um, Because you've lost a whole person. You cannot stay the same. I've always told y'all this. Do not stay the same. You're not meant to stay the same. Um, You have to change. The reason why you had weight loss surgery was so that your life would change. Remember that. The one thing I want you to remember is this. The only reason why you had weight loss surgery is because you wanted your life to change. It's not because you wanted to lose weight. It's not because you wanted to get healthy. It is because you wanted your life to change. It's that simple, all right? So, because you're changing, there are going to be moments when you feel lost, and that's all right. You need to hear it from somebody that says, it's okay for you to be lost right now, this, confused. 
um, frustrated, don't know what to do, don't know how to speak to people. I'm going through that myself, and I had to have my brand strategist, brand strategist explain it to me like that. Give me permission to be lost and wondering a little bit. And I'm giving you permission right now, too. It's okay for you to be lost. Um, you don't have to know it all. It will get better. You stay true to your core. Get down to what you believe is true. Your true person, your true you know, purpose in life. Um, wherever you draw your source of power and strength from, just recenter yourself to that. Does that make sense? Recenter yourself and start kicking ass again. Don't doubt yourself. All right. Um, that's it for this car wash confessional. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great week. Be awesome. I'm headed to New York City. Um, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Love you very much. See you later. Bye.